Okay, so we uh, hired on a contractor, uh, Case Concrete, or Case Construction, to come in and remove a big trailer frame from here and remove a 30 by 14, uh, or 30 by 12 pad from here. That it was a concrete slab for uh, like a driveway on, on this side over here. What he did was he came in and put a gigantic hole in our shed. Uh, then what he did, pulled all this trailer out, took that slab, which he, we were paying him to remove, and he threw it in the hole, knowing full well that it is against the city code and against regulations to put it in a hole like this. And now we cannot put a house on this property because of what he did. He, we paid him to uh, put to grade this and uh, level it and compact it. As you can see, I'm walking through here and I am literally sinking in. I, I am sinking into the ground here as I'm walking through. Um, this this is a, a horrible job. I mean, he, want, he wanted to charge $2,600 for this job and he did not do it. So we told him that he he is supposed to take the slab out and what he did was he uh, broke it up pushed it into the hole and then had his guys spread it out until this pipe and what he was supposed to do was break it up and haul it off now we cannot build our house on this property until this is all dug up all that concrete is removed and then refilled and then we have to do a compaction test to make sure that it, it works and that it is to code but we we contacted we went up contacted the city talked to the city and they sent out code enforcement and he told code enforcement yeah this is just going to be an empty lot when it's not he he told them that it was going to be an empty lot and which it's okay to put concrete underneath the ground if it's going to be an empty lot but it's not going to be an empty lot and he knows that because he was here when uh when we were showing him the plans for the house we we've already got the blueprints and everything well now the city inspector told us that he lied and you know it is not legal and we can't put a house here and and that that's upsetting but he knew what he was doing was wrong because uh after when we left to go talk to the city he called up his uh his uh, buddies who brought a big dumpster or a big dump truck here dumped all the the dirt into the hole and then he came through and covered up all but like a little corner over here and that's what the city inspector uh, or the code enforcement saw was just this little corner here. And he's like, oh, yeah, yeah, don't worry about that. But what he did was illegal. And now because uh, of that, he because he knew that he uh, did wrong, he just packed up and left. And he, he we have a feeling that he's going to uh, mail us uh, a bill. And we don't have to pay that bill because uh, what he did was illegal. But if he wants to fight it, we can fight it. We are, we already have everything documented. I mean, this is just this is just horrible. I mean, <laughs> you can see I'm sinking into the ground. I, I I sunk in right there, about three inches, sinking in over there. It's a big big huge hole. And what he did what he did was just unbelievable. I mean, we, we've this this pipe right here is marking where the sewer sewer line is, and what he did was he threw the concrete slabs on, and then he had the the uh, ex, little mini excavator sitting there smashing it with the bucket on top of the pipe. I just it is unbelievable. He almost took out this brick wall. He almost took that out, backing up in the in the tractor. It's it's just unbelievable. But. Uh, just don't do any work with Case Concrete or Case Construction. His name's Casey. Just don't do any work with him. It's unbelievable. He lies. Uh, he wanted to do it without a permit. He said, oh, don't worry about any permits. The city doesn't need to know. It's like, it's right here. Come on.